Hey you guys, what is up? It is Leo coming at you. I am super excited to be here today. So I'm sure you guys know the background behind me looks very different. I'm actually out and about. I am working here at this coffee shop for the very first time and I've seen this many times already and I've always wanted to be here. So, and I just thought, you know what? A change of scenario is always great. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, I just want to preface by saying this. I don't know what type of weekend you guys had, you know, what type of week you are expecting, but I want to remind you to expect great things because in life, we don't get what we want. We get what we expect. So let's expect some awesome blessings from God. Let's expect for him to blow our socks off. Let's expect to be in complete awe because like there's these desires and dreams and just certain things that you've wanted for a while and out of nowhere, voila, it came to pass, right? So let's go ahead and expect big this week. But the topic for today is I want to share with you guys just very, just some very simple tips on how to have confidence when you are meeting strangers, when you are meeting anybody from any background, any age group, from any profession. And I remember there was like, you know, a time in my life where I would feel very intimidated and kind of insecure when I meet doctors or lawyers, you know, or people of high profiles. And when I started to develop my confidence to a certain level, I no longer felt that. I feel very comfortable to meet anybody and I can literally have conversations with anyone I meet. So having said that, I want to share some of those practical tips with you guys today. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so tip number one of how to meet people, no matter who they are, you're just gonna have such confidence when meeting them is number one is learn to remember their names, okay? Um, I know sometimes as we are meeting people, we have a tendency to think that we are bad with remembering names. It is so hard to remember names. And if we have been saying that for a while, if you've been saying that for a while, the predicament is you have a hard time remembering people's names. But if you were to just make a switch today, you can do it, okay? And here is the simple tip. When you are meeting someone, let's say I'm shaking your hand. Hi, how are you? I'm Leo. And then you were to tell me, okay, my name is Jessica, right? Or my name is Jennifer, or my name is Jen, or whatever your name is. Okay, I would say, hi, Jessica, nice to meet you. What do you do, Jessica? Do you live around here, Jessica? Um, how long have, been, have you been living in this neighborhood for, Jessica? So the important thing here is you need to remember to say their name within a matter of two to three minutes of meeting them at least three times say their names three times in the conversation within the first three, four minutes, because it's gonna start ingraining in your mind that that's her name, okay? And the second thing is because as you are using their name as you meet them, guess what? They feel very special. You know how it is. If somebody remembers your name, you're gonna feel good, right? You feel special because that that is us, like that's who we are. Okay, so if you just keep that in mind, whenever we remember people's name, they feel special. So if we, are, if we can make that extra effort to remember their name, then why not, right? And going forward, if you are making a determination that I'm gonna remember people's names, I am great at remembering people's names, um, don't ever go to the negative self-talk of thinking, oh, I suck with names. Okay, because if you start speaking that, that is what you are going to get. So let's go ahead and eliminate that period. Going forward, you're gonna speak that, hey, I am so great with remembering people's names. Okay, and I know you can do it. All right, so uh, tip number two is to um, always ask them questions about themselves. You don't have to worry about, okay, what do I say about myself? A lot of times when we meet new people, the biggest issue that stops us from, you know, being confident is we don't know what to say. You know, we, uh, yeah, we, we, we just feel clueless. We need to learn to get good with asking questions about that person. For example, let's say I'm just meeting you, right? I'll ask you, hey, if I'm meeting you anywhere, period. I think ever since I moved down to Atlanta, I've learned to ask this one question, where are you from? because everybody is a transplant in Atlanta, Georgia. So when you ask where is that person from, it kind of opens up the dialogue, right? If that person says, oh, I'm from California. Oh, I'm from Texas. Oh, I'm from, you know, Australia or wherever. And then they'll ask you, oh, where are you from, right? And then you can start kind of exchanging information like that, okay? So second tip is asking where are they from, 
asking about themselves. Oh, what do you do? How long have you been in Vietnam? How long have you been in Asia? How long have you been living in the US now? Okay, how do you like it? What is your favorite city so far? Or what are some things that you have enjoyed so far here uh, while being here in Vietnam, right? Um, when you ask these types of probing questions and they're not too personal, you are opening up like um, a dialogue where you are showing them, hey, I am interested, I'm, I'm interested in you. I want to know who you are as a person, okay? And if you start asking them one or two questions and they respond and you look at their attitude and their, deme their demeanor and they look like, you know, they're kind of open, you know, um, engaging in their conversation, then you know they're enjoying the talk with you. Okay, I remember one time hearing the story and it was um, a guy just meeting someone new and he just sat there and literally could, kept asking questions about that person. And at the end of the conversation, the man that he just met turned to him and said, you know, you're such a great person to converse with. And here he is, he's thinking, really? Like, what did I do? I didn't really say much. I was just asking questions about who you are as a person, right? So a lot of times, guys, people don't care too much about other people to ask them about them. We tend to think we need to talk about ourselves and what we like and our desires and, you know, where we're at in life and all that stuff. But um, when we do that too much, it shows the person that we are not interested in them. Okay, and here's the thing, you might feel like that hesitancy or whatever in, you know, meeting new people because you don't know if they want to talk to you or not. What if they're kind of resistant? Here's my test, okay? I asked him a couple, couple of questions. Hey, where are you from? Okay, so if they answer me, oh, I'm from the US. And then they'll ask me back, oh, where are you from? And I will say, I'm from the US as well, okay? That's great. Well, how long have you been in Vietnam now? They answer and then they'll ask me that question back. Then I know they're interested in wanting to talk to me. But if I ask the question and they're completely kind of like with the straight face, they're not asking me back. I ask one or two questions and uh, you just sense that there's some sort of like of a wall up. You know that person is not interested in talking to you. Maybe they're busy. Maybe they're having a bad day or whatever. I used to feel kind of rejected when I am open to having conversations with them and they don't receive it. And I used to think, oh, what's wrong with me? And I just felt very rejected and it kind of prevented me from, um, you know, wanting to pursue conversations with other people who may be friendly and they want to talk to me, but because I remember of this negative experience, right? Don't let that stop you guys. Okay, because everyone's different and you don't know how their day was, right? So I just believe the best. I might think, oh, okay, well, I asked them one or two questions. They just answer, they don't ask me back. It's like a one direction type of conversation. Then I just say, hey, nice talking to you. Have a great day. That is it. I cut it off. I still, you know, have a great attitude about it and I just let them go. It is so important to not let people um, determine your mood, to not let their and negative attitude rub off on you. I always think that wherever I go, I am sprinkling, right? My positive attitude, my, um, my happiness and my joy onto other people. I do not let them control my moods and my joy, period. Because when you do that, you are giving them power. And I refuse to live and I refuse to give anyone power. I have a very strong personality. So I just feel like, man, I am going to keep my power. I'm going to own it. Okay. Last but not least, maybe you're in conversation for about five, six, seven minutes now. Then just tell them, hey, it was really nice meeting you. Always smile. When you're asking another uh, person a question, when you're in dialogue, smile, right? It makes you feel good. It causes them to feel comfortable. It lifts their mood big time. Even if they don't feel happy, but because you smiled, um, they, want to ref they want to mirror you, okay? And you instantly, give them that boost and that lift to their moods okay a hundred percent and they might not even sense it at first but at the end of the conversation they're thinking wow i feel good like i'm glad i talked to this person i'm glad that um you know just being around them and conversing with them for a few minutes it makes me feel better about my day okay so tell them again hey jessica recite their name again johnson matt whatever hey nice to meet you um i'm glad we have this chat Love to be in touch.
what's your Instagram? You know, if you feel like that person may want to be in touch or you want to, to uh, stay in touch with that person, perhaps ask them to go and have some coffee or something. Okay, but don't ever think that, hey, there's no way that I can meet new people. It's so scary. I never know what to say. Get rid of all the, get rid of all these negative thought process in your mind. You may have had it for a long time, but um, I challenge you to make a decision to uproot all of these today. And you're thinking, hey, I can meet anybody, anytime, anywhere. I can talk about anything. Why? Because when I do talk, I talk to them about them. I show them that I am interested in them that I want to make them feel special. That is the right heart and that is the right intention. So I know that you will do well. Okay, so I hope this added a lot of value to you guys. If this, um, if you find that this is valuable, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, okay? And smash that like button. And uh, I hope that you know, you'll be able to share this with other people as well. Okay, so I hope this video was not too loud and that you guys enjoyed this new environment. If you did, let me know in the comment below. And also, I want to remind you of my amazing mentorship program. Actually, there's two more days until the enrollment for my mentorship program closes. Uh, I will be taking a short break from my one-on-one -on -one confidence mentorship program as I launch other programs within what I want to do. So if you haven't had a chance yet and you have been kind of like dealing with emotional issues or you know you haven't been able to grow and you are stuck in various aspects of your life and especially not having the confidence not having the motivation right ha not having the drive to do anything with your life i want you to go ahead and dm me right now on instagram i want you to go ahead and comment below and let me know hey leo i really would love to have your help and i'm ready i have seen so many amazing changes with my mentees in the past almost two months so i know that this can happen for you as well okay so anyway guys i love you guys so much and i really respect you guys i hope you guys have an amazing week and with that over and out from danang bye